kids! Today, let's do some more addition and subtraction. There are three famous bakeries in the city. And here is a table showing number of pastries and buns sold in three bakeries in the last week. We have to find out answers to a few questions using the table. How many pastries and buns were sold in Diamond Bakery? Let's answer the question. Question is to find out pastries and buns. Remember, whenever there are words like more, join, all together, in all, this and that, total of, all together. We have to find the answer by adding. So, we have to add the number of pastries and buns. And of a particular bakery, that is, Diamond Bakery. So, we will add the pastries and buns sold by Diamond Bakery. First of all, write all numbers in order to add them. That is, write each numeral below the mark of its place value. By adding the numbers, we got 1,050. So, 1,050 buns and pastries were sold by Diamond Bakery. Now, let's answer next question. How many pastries were sold in total in all the bakeries? Let's answer the question. Question is to find out total pastries sold. So, add up all the pastries sold from all the bakeries. For that, first of all, write all the numbers in order to add them. Write each numeral below the mark of its place value. Adding all the numbers, we got 950. So, 950 pastries were sold in total in all bakeries. Good! Now, let's answer another question. How many buns sold in total in all the bakeries? Let's answer the question. Question is to find out total number of buns sold. So add up all the buns sold from all the bakeries. First of all, write all numbers in order to add them. That is, write each numeral below the mark of its place value. So, 1,550 buns were sold in total in all the bakeries. Good! Now, let's answer another question. How many fewer pastries were sold than buns? We are asked to find how many fewer pastries. Remember, whenever there are words like left, fewer, fly away, take away, we have to find the difference. That is, we have to use subtraction. So, we have to find the difference between the number of buns and number of pastries sold. Number of buns sold are 1,550. Number of pastries sold are 950. So, how many fewer pastries sold? 
1,550 minus 950. Remember, always write bigger numbers above the smaller number when you are subtracting. Also, write down the numbers below the mark of their place value. Subtracting them, we got 600. So, 600 fewer pastries were sold than buns. Good! Now, let's move on to another example. An electronics store in the city recorded its sale of laptops for the past five years. We have answered the question based on this table. So let's start. How many laptops were sold in the year 2012? Let's answer the question. We can see from the table that 400 laptops were sold in the year 2012. Now, how many laptops were sold in total in 2012 and 2013? Let's answer the question. We are asked to find the laptops sold in total in 2012 and 2013. So we have to add the laptops sold in 2012 and 2013. So from the table we see 400 laptops were sold in 2012 and 500 sold in 2013. Adding both the numbers, we got 900. Hence, 900 laptops were sold in total in two years. Now, let's move on to another question. How many more laptops were sold in the year 2015 than in 2014? Let's answer the question. We are asked to find out how many more in 2015 than 2014. So we have to subtract the fewer from more to get the difference. From the table we see, 750 laptops were sold in 2015 and 500 were sold in 2014. So we have to subtract 500 from 750. By subtracting, we get 250. Hence, we got it. Answer is 250. More laptops were sold in 2015 than 2014. Now, let's answer another question. The brand expects 100 more in 2016 than 2015. How many laptop expected to be sold in 2016? We are given that 100 more are expected in 2016 than 2015. Thus, we have to add 100 laptops in the laptop sold in 2015. From the table, we see that 750 laptops were sold in 2015. So, adding 100 to it, we got 850. So, 850 laptops are expected to be sold in 2016. Now, let's answer another question. 
The brand expects 100 fewer laptops to be sold in 2017 than 2015. How many laptops are expected to be sold in 2017? Let's answer the question. We are given that 100 fewer laptops are expected to be sold in 2017 than 2015. Thus, we have to subtract 100 laptops from the laptops sold in 2015. From the table, we see that 750 laptops were sold in 2015. So subtract 100 laptops from it. We get 650. So 650 laptops are expected to be sold in 2017. Good! So now we have learned how to read the data given to us in tables and whether adding or subtracting will give us the answer for a given question. So kids, go ahead and take a quiz to learn more. Bye-bye. Tootway has thousands of animated videos on math, English, and science to clear the core basics of these subjects.